You know when two flavors are going so well together that you can't take that flavor pairing out of your mind. Well, for me, green chartreuse and chocolate is one of those pairings. And you know what else goes very well with these two things? Mint. And what is one of the most decadent cocktail using mint and chocolate? The grasshopper. So for me, using chartreuse in a grasshopper is just a natural instinct. And while I saw a couple of renditions of the classic using a little bit of green chartreuse, I never saw a riff on a grasshopper using green chartreuse as the main flavor component. So today we're gonna change that because believe me, it is amazing. But we're gonna have to make some changes here and there because otherwise the cocktail would be too sweet. So instead of using cacao liquor, we're gonna make a homemade chartreuse chocolate bitters. And yes, it's as good as it sounds. And don't worry, if you're here only for the cocktail, it will also work with your favorite chocolate bitters. So without further ado, if you guys are ready, let's go. All right, so today's video is gonna be pretty straightforward. I don't want to go through the history of the grasshopper, I prefer to focus on the ingredients and the cocktail recipe. So let's start right away with our chartreuse chocolate bitters. The reason I called it that way is because I'm using some of the key flavor components that you can also find in my DIY chartreuse recipe. So it doesn't taste like chartreuse, but it pairs perfectly with the liquor. It also works great as a regular chocolate bitter. It doesn't have to be with that liquor. But here, because I created a cocktail around green chartreuse, I used complementary herbs and botanicals. Speaking of which, I divided the ingredients in four different categories, the star ingredient, the bittering agent, the herbs, and spices. Our star ingredient today is cacao, obviously to give the chocolate flavor, so I recommend 100% raw organic cacao nibs. That's what's gonna give the best result. I don't recommend anything in chocolate form. That's not gonna work as well. Then in terms of bittering agents today, I'm using gentian and cashew bark. I also tried it only with gentian, which actually worked pretty well. So if you don't wanna use both, you can double up the amount of gentian, but don't do the opposite. It's not gonna taste as good. Then for the herbs, we have echinacea, yarrow, isop, and chamomile. For the spices, nutmeg, cloves, cinnamon, black peppercorn, green cardamom, star anise, green anise seeds, licorice root, and saffron. And for our base, I'm using a 100 proof or 50% ABV neutral grain spirit or vodka. Then for the technique, like we did last week, we're gonna use the flash infusion method because you guys love it. It works great. You can enjoy the recipe the same day. So flash infusion it is once again. So you're gonna start by adding in your cream whipper 75 grams of cacao nibs, 1.5 grams of each gentian and cashew bark, or three grams of gentian, two grams of star anise, two grams of green anise seeds, one gram of cinnamon, 0.3 grams of nutmeg, two grams of licorice, three small shreds of saffron, 10 cracked black peppercorn, 6 cracked cardamom seeds, not the pods, the seeds, 6 cloves, 2.5 grams of echinacea, 1.5 grams of yarrow, 2.5 grams of hyssop, and 1.5 grams of chamomile. Then we're gonna add 300 ml of our 100 proof neutral grain spirit, close our cream whipper, charge it once with an NO2 cartridge, shake it for about 20 seconds, Charge it one more time with another cartridge and shake it one more time for about 20 seconds. Then you're gonna let the mixture infuse at room temperature for two hours and then you're gonna release the gas all at once. Chances are it's gonna spill because of the amount of liquid and ingredient in the cream whipper. So I like to cover the spout with a shaker tin, place another one right beneath it. That way it's gonna gather everything that's gonna leak. Then you're gonna open up the cream whipper, repour in it what leaked, and then before filtering the bitters, you need to wait until the rice crispy sound has stopped. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm gonna try. So you hear that sound, that means the flavors are still infusing. So you need to wait until it stops before filtering the mixture. Once it has stopped, you can filter it through a coffee filter to make a clearer bitter, bottle it in your favorite bitter bottle, and there you have it, the chartreuse chocolate bitters. One great way to taste and test your bitters 
is to pour a couple of mils in a glass and top it up with 3-4 ounces of cold filtered water. That way you're gonna open up all the flavors and they're all going to be way easier to distinguish and that way you're gonna be able to see if your bitters is balanced. Mm. So here I get up front a beautiful bitterness from the gentian and chocolate flavor. And then you get some freshness and herbaceousness from all the other ingredients, some spices. So it's also very aromatic, a little bit the same way Angostura would be. So overall, I think it is a great chocolate aromatic bitters and has some flavor components and will pair just perfectly in our cocktail. Speaking of which, let's make our chartreuse green grasshopper. What you're gonna need is green chartreuse, obviously, some mint liqueur. Today I'm using one I just made on the fly using mint essence, vodka, sugar, and a little bit of water because I don't have access to a top quality mint liqueur here where I am. But if you can find Tempus Fugit, I highly recommend that one. Then you're also gonna need heavy cream, our chocolate bitters, and nutmeg for the garnish. You can also use your DIY green chartreuse if you gave it a shot. It also works wonderfully. So first in our shaker, we're gonna add one ounce and a half or 45 mils of green chartreuse. Half an ounce of mint liqueur or creme de mint. Then for the bitters here, it's gonna have two purposes, to add a new layer of flavor, but also to dry the cocktail a little bit. So we're gonna use quite a larger amount than what we're used to. We're gonna go with six heavy dashes or 12 using a small Japanese dasher bottle like this one. Next, we're gonna add two ounces or 60 mils of heavy cream. Fill the shake with ice and give it a good shake for about 10 seconds. I'm gonna fine strain it in the cocktail coupe. Really important to fine strain it. And for the garnish, a little bit of grated nutmeg. And there you have it, the green chartreuse grasshopper. Cheers. <laughs> oh my God, this is so good. It's rich, minty, chocolatey, but most of all, we get that beautiful kick of green chartreuse up front with all what we love from the liqueur. By that, I mean the warm feeling, the complexity of the herbs, and all that pairs perfectly with the mint and the chocolate flavors. Really, for me, the best way probably to make a grasshopper. But if you wanna judge, you know what to do. You have to give it a try. So my friends, this is it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Turn that bell if you want to make sure not to miss the next video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Mm.